I'm at practice and my audio is just not going. Bless Donovan Jackson's heart because he just re-recorded his practice interview with me. I think I might have forgot to hit record. I think I might have forgot to hit record. I'm kidding. <laughs> See ya. So that I'm, I'm trying to go hard because I know Josh Simmons is, oh my God. <laughs> All right, take two. Okay, I do appreciate you coming back. And actually at Big Ten Media Days, we had something similar happen with Coach Day. And I asked him, I, well, I forgot to record. And I asked him, what was his oh shoot moment like in his career? Do you have an oh shoot moment from any time you're playing or in real life? Any time you can think of where you're like, oh, shoot. I mean, I would say there are probably countless times. Uh, I mean, there's some times I'd rather not think about, but uh, other than it's just the nature of the game, man. Like, you, you win some, you lose some. You go against good teams. You you know, you go against good guys, and, and this stuff happens. But I, I try not to have those moments. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that my on. I mean, I'm checking all my bases here. Do appreciate you coming back. But you came back to play uh, after some injuries that you were dealing with. But Coach Jay was saying that you're the best guard in the country. And all of your teammates, they were saying getting that veteran leadership back with you and how communication is key on the offensive line. How does it feel to get that kind of recognition from your teammates? I mean, it's uh, it's just that confidence you get from not only your coaches, but the guys you play next to. You know, obviously confidence starts from within, but if you get that confidence from you know other people around you, you know you can play a lot faster because you know those guys believe in you. And you know, with that belief, you know, you can do things and play harder than you think you ever could. So, you know, I, I really appreciate it, but I, I know I know there's things I have to work on to become an even better player than I am now. And so just having that, that hunger, that greed to, to, to be better, to be more, is what keeps driving me. Yeah, I think there's a lot of hunger on this team. I mean, the scrutiny that the, the self-evaluation that uh, the coaches are giving to you guys, and we also heard Josh Fryer say last week that practice just feels different this year, and he's huffing and puffing, and he's never struggled that much in practice, but it just feels so much more intense. We heard everyone say it's an out of your bus season, so does it feel different for you? I mean, I would say uh, practices are definitely a lot more intense. We know uh, what we have to do, and we know uh, the – the what we have in front of us but i would say you know nadia bus it's really it's really ohio state you know if you come to ohio state the expectation is to win games you know have not having that that winning feeling the past couple of years you know the older guys on the team try to pull the younger guys with them like hey like you don't want to experience this like it, it, may, it may seem like dropping a game here but like it feels like you like let down everyone around you so it's we're just trying to we're just trying to stay the course stay hungry stay uh stay uh, um, vigilant of what we have in front of us and just try to execute the best we can. And you guys have been putting up big numbers offensively, but still, Emeka Buka said after the Marshall game, after the offense put up 49 points, that the expectation is to score in every single play. And so does it feel do or die in the game scenario? Well, we know that we're put in the best positions possible to score points. You know, Coach Kelly and all of our uh, other coaches put us in the, the best position to score points. And so we know that with that, with putting us in that position, the expectation is to score. You know, um, like uh, we'll try to, you know, chop it down the field as much as we can. But if, if we get the ball in the 20, man, we're trying to go all the way down to the end zone. And you guys, it, we heard Will Howard say that he sat back during that Marshall game and just looked out at everything he has available on offense. I know it was different from at Kansas State, but looking at that and seeing who you're blocking for, I mean, with Trevion and Quinchon in the run game, so much fun you guys could be having on offense and does it feel fun i know you just got back in but like you're going into big time play now and now it's you know it's big time play no we're certainly having fun uh having having no uh great talent around especially the offensive line and having great talent around us in general is a it's a fun feeling to have but we know what we have to do you know we're, we're not getting complacent we understand that you know we put great things on tape last last game we also put bad stuff on tape last game and so just cleaning up the bad to make everything look good and then when it's good, we gotta make it great. And so um, there's still more we have to do. Um, everyone knows that we're not where we have to be. Everyone knows what we do, what what we need to do to get where we need to be. But no, it just comes with reps and no uh, um, executing plays with the best of our abilities. We heard Coach Day yesterday say that, you know, the run game has been phenomenal, but he was asked, are, are you happy with that? And he said, no, we can't get complacent. You just said, we're not gonna get complacent. But as you look at it coming into this season, you get a lot of new newness on this team. You get Chip Kelly in off as an offensive coordinator. Ryan Day spoke highly about him, and you guys bought into that as well. So 
what we see with this culture here is it's incredibly strong with the veterans that all came back. So do you think buying in and how all the transfers adjusted and came in so cohesively, do you think that's a strong element to this offense? Well, um, I would say that our culture has always been fight. You know, it's on every wall you can see in, in this facility. And so it's just trying to fight for an extra yard, fight for the extra play, fight for the extra inch to get, try to get to the first down or even the end zone. And so that mentality has like spread throughout the entire team. And so we know that, uh, yeah, we, we can do some good stuff as an offense, but we know that we can be even better and we got to figure out uh, what we need to do to get to that point. So like I was saying earlier, like, yeah, we, we've done some good stuff, but we know that we haven't done anything yet. Uh, we have a we have a long, long season ahead of us. We were playing some going to play some great competition, playing in some hostile environments, the uh, environment that we're about to play on Saturday. But we just know that we have to you know play Ohio State football and just execute plays. Yeah, heading into more competition, it was set around the Woody Hayes Athletic Centers. You guys are ready to be challenged. And I know, you know, players and teams, they tend to say they don't listen to the news and the media about what the spread is and how you guys have been highly favored or what the committee may be looking at. But we did hear Ryan Day say that every single play, the committee will be evalu evaluating every team. There is a 12-game playoff and seeding will matter. But does it feel like every single play you have to put on a show and show just how good this offense is, mainly because you haven't had that conference play yet. Well, I would say every every play, speaking from an offensive standpoint, we're trying to go as hard as we can for the man next to us. You know, um, it's not it's not a selfish mentality. I'm trying to go hard so that I'm I'm trying to go hard because I know. Oh, <laughs> hey, I got to say I'm I'm trying to go hard because you know Seth McLaughlin's going hard next to me. I'm trying to go hard because Josh Simmons is. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, this is a good time to check the audio really fast. We're going to uh, put on a big show because it's we're checking the audio really fast, Mike. Um, checking to see or um, trying to put on a really big show because you haven't had those big opponents yet. I mean, we're not we're not trying to put on a show for anybody. We're just trying to execute and play Ohio State football. You know, we try to play hard as we can for the man next to us. You know, uh, um, especially on the offensive line, man, it ain't easy. You know, all five guys got to be on the same page, and if you have one off then the play won't work. So I got to go hard because I know Seth McLaughlin going, I'm going to go hard. I got to go hard because I know Josh Simmons is going to go hard. So who am I to have that selfish mentality of trying to take a play off? So uh, it's just that mentality that drives us, especially as an O-line unit. Well, I've never played offensive line, but I can't assume it's easy. But you have some fun people to block for and protect here with your quarterback, Will Howard. And he spoke about how fun it is on offense. And you just kind of see the weapons that go down the field. And Trevion Henderson, Quinchon Junkins, Emeka Buka. I mean, their weapons are just um, unlimited here and so when you get to play for a team like that and you guys have all that trust in each other what does it feel like to be a part of the Ohio State Buckeyes in the 2024 season well we're just having fun you know um, uh, coming coming to practice every day yes it's hard yes you know uh, there are times you're like man like we are we have another rack of plays but at the end of the day like we look in the huddle and there's just guys with smiles on their faces knowing that we're doing what we love and knowing that we're blessed to be able to do what we love so you know it's a uh, just trying to take a step back and looking at, yeah, we play at like the Ohio State University. We play with an O on our chest, you know, a block O on our chest, sorry. And we're just playing, we're playing for the love of our brothers. And I know that the offensive line did face a lot of scrutiny after that Cotton Bowl game against Missouri State. And so when you are a veteran on that, on that unit and you had to take some time out for injury, but you return in and you're that key player that really brings it all together, how does it feel to get that kind of, criticism from a fan base this strong but you see how well the run game's going and I know you guys are criticizing yourselves extra hard because excellence is expected here but just being the leader on that unit what, what is your what is your responsibility with that I mean I would say we got so many leaders in our unit sure I've, I've been here a, probably a really long time it's kind of odd to say that but um you know it, it's just trying to make sure everyone stays the course you know I've I've had a um a lot of games where I wish I could take back, and so making sure guys, you know, don't don't have that feeling anymore because it's not a good feeling to have. You know, um, whatever feeling people have at home, trust me, we feel it 20 times worse. But um, but just trying to make sure everyone stays. Of course, you know, we have a great coaching staff: Coach Fry, uh, Coach uh, Seleni as in the O line room, and Coach Drev. Make sure that we have the tools needed to be successful. And so it's just our job as guys on the field to execute what we're taught. And I spoke with Urban Meyer before the game with the big new kickoff crew here. And he says, we haven't seen everything from this offense yet. I mean, you have bigger competition ahead. What should we expect from this offense heading into Big Ten play? I mean, like I said, man, the culture's fight. We're just going to fight. You know, um, 
whatever's called, we're gonna do it. We're gonna run it to the best of our abilities, whether it uh, be inside, outside, zone, counter, anything it could be. We're just gonna run it to the best of our abilities, and hopefully, uh, we just put good stuff on the field. Awesome. Thank you so much. Great to have you back. Thank you. Yay! Round two.